Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. And uh, just a heads up before we get started, it is stormy here, it's very windy. So we might lose power. If we end up losing power, we end up losing the stream. I'll try to set one up again um, for the weekend, a math stream for the weekend. Aside from that, fingers crossed, we stay uh, hooked up, right? And today is a drop in math tutoring session. It's the number, the eighth one we've been doing for this year, for this school year anyway. And uh, it's basically an open discussion, mathematics. Um, if you have questions regarding high school math, if I can help you out, I'm here to help you out. I'm just popping out the chat so I see what's going on. Uh, and we're just gonna do, you know, wait until people show up to the stream if they have any questions or whatnot. And it is an open discussion if people don't want to talk about mathematics. Um, we can talk about almost anything related to education. Uh, but politics and stuff we're gonna leave until the politics streams. Uh, as far as Julian Assange is concerned, I think that's open discussion anytime, just because how important it is. Um, but mathematics first and foremost it usually takes a few minutes for people to pop in T. always have some drinks with you when you're doing math <coughs> snacks are good too nice delicious snacks little mandarins right. Hannah how you doing can we do math of growing <laughs> had a, um, one of the first things that I set to do uh, that I announced that I would do uh, for the math content that we've been creating is the mathematics of prohibition and I announced that I think back in 2009 or 2010 when I formed 420 math uh, put that together at some point we will we have Thanksgiving tomorrow so excited Oh, yeah, you guys have Thanksgiving tomorrow. That's right. In Canada, we had it earlier. We had it, uh, I forget what the date is, like three weeks ago. Twitching Jason, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hope everyone's well. Dante, how you doing, brother? How's life? Now we have no more prohibition. In Canada, no. Uh, in Canada, legalization has its own problems, uh, for sure. Uh, quality control prices have gone up uh, not enough uh, product available for a lot of people that are using medicinal marijuana medicinal cannabis uh, i'm gonna talk up right now before i stuff my face so the turkey tastes even better do you guys have your turkey dinner tonight hannah or tomorrow night thanksgiving uh, isn't it tomorrow night you guys have uh, turkey and then the next day is like insane day. Tangpo, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. You're here for a good stream. Mathematics, dinner tomorrow. Cool, cool, cool. And Friday too. And Saturday and Sunday leftover. I ate a pomegranate for the first time ever this week. Had to watch one of your witty videos on how to eat them. I thought, look. My kitchen looks like a murder scene with all the juices splattered everywhere. <laughs> That's what pomegranates do, right? Hopefully you didn't get it on your clothes. They stain. They stain the clothes. Pomegranate juice stains, right? The best way, Twitching Jason, the best way to do pomegranates, what you can do is take a rag when you're cutting the pomegranates in half and don't cut them with the where it's hanging and where the fluff is cut it sideways as if you would cut sideways right but put a napkin on top of it or a piece of rag and then cut it and then turn the pomegranates upside down the open part down um, into a bowl and preferably in the sink and grab a wooden spoon or a metal spoon and just go ta -ta 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 and then the seeds start popping out uh, we do have a video on that but yeah if you go at it like crazy it's like everywhere i may purchase a macbook this week 
Uh, I'm not touching it. Yeah, I personally, I'm staying away from Apple products. I've stayed away from Apple products for 30 years or something. I find them to have too short term of a planned obsolescence and with their upgrades, they, you have to upgrade the hardware as well and they're overpriced and stuff. That being said, one of the first computers we had, the home computers we had was an uh, Apple II at our house. Lonely Piggy, hello Chicho and chat. Glad to have made it to a math stream. I have the entrance exam for the RCMP booked in two weeks. Cool. And doing some practice, I've realized just how rusty I am with my mathematics, especially averages with decimal numbers and such. Any tips? Um, like taking averages and stuff? Averages is just you add them all up and divide by the number of items you had, right? So, you know, the average of something. Are you supposed to do it all by hand, by the way? Or are you guys using a calculator? I did that. It wasn't so much the cutting that splattered, but the tapping with the wooden spoon. I think next time I'll do it in the sink. Yeah, in the sink is, is, is ideal right one of the reasons i didn't with the videos all no actually i think we did them in the sink too uh, that was probably my only mistake the effort was totally worth it though i'm addicted yeah they're so good pomegranates i'm waiting for the major batch to come in so i can load up on it it's too expensive right now where we are they're like three bucks a pop that's too expensive no calculators allowed which is why i've come to realize that my basic math oh no calculators now okay let's do like what type of numbers you're talking about little piggy like here 7.8 uh 9.2 11 .2, uh 4.25 5.01 and let's go 0 0.03 like numbers like this is that what we're talking about Let's find a darker pen. It comes out a little bit better. Like these types of numbers are they're bigger. Right? If they're bigger, it doesn't really make a difference, right? All you have to do, yep, similar numbers to that. Other times it's big numbers. Seems to be a, uh, an equal mix. Okay, so let's do one of these. Now, when it comes to adding decimals, here, we'll do, I mean, I doubt it if you're gonna get crazy numbers. Like, you're not gonna get 9.2005, I doubt it. But if you do, all you have to do is line everything up based on the decimal right so for example when you put let's do this one first so 7.8 and if you're taking averages you have to add them all up right so all the numbers you're going to line up based on where the decimal is so this is 9.2005 right and give yourself plenty of space between the numbers don't crunch things up right good evening chicho all love good evening good evening how are you doing and 11 would be 11.5, one, one four would be 4.25, 5.01, and then 0 0.03, right? And then you add them all, all up accordingly. So the way I line this up sucks, by the way, just to let you know. Look at this one. They're lining up with the second number. So I want to move these guys over. I'm going to move them over so they're a little bit better, right? Placement is really important. And that was a five, uh, two, five, right? That way, visually, they line up for you. What is the mode, Chicho? What is the mode? Mode is the number that appears the most in a data set, okay? So we wouldn't have a mode here because all the numbers are different. But if you had a number, let's say you had a number set like this two five seven eight two six zero five uh, zero five seven four the mode for this would be the number that appears the most so how many numbers do we have we got one two three four 
4 times 3, we've got 12 numbers. The number 5 appears 3 times. The number 2 appears twice. The number 7 appears twice. And all the, oh, the number 0 appears twice. All the other numbers appear once. So the mode of this thing would be 5. 5 is the number that appears the most. Okay. And mode is uh, statistics, right? Something you use in statistics. So for these ones, you just add them up, right? So this one doesn't have any other numbers. If you want to make sure your I is placed correctly, there. You can put them all in col columns. Any numbers to the right of the decimal, as long as they're the last number, you can add as many zeros as you want, right? So instead of having blanks, you can have zeros to line up. So this one is going to be 5. This one is 0. This one is 5, 1, 6, 9. This one is 10, 15, 17. And you carry the 1 over, right? Mm -hmm. So if you go above any 10s, they go up to the next number. And then you got 8, 17. Actually, I usually do it like this. I group them together. 9 and 1 is 10. 4 and 5 is 9. Plus 1 is another 10. So that's 20. Plus 7 is 27. 7, and you put the 2 up top. In these ones, 2 plus 1 is 3. So all of these numbers added up is 37.7905. And if you want to find the average, what you got to do is divide it by the total number of numbers you had, which is six. So we're going to do long division on this. So let's do long division on this. Let's erase a little bit here. Here, I'm just going to erase the addition part. Okay. And if you need me to pause, if you want to take notes or whatever, let me know. Maybe hopefully I'll catch it. If not, you can just pause the video or on the rewatch, pause the video and just take a snapshot. Right. So 37.7905, right? So 37.7905. And we want to divide this by 6, right? So if you're going to divide it, you could present it like this. You could go 6, right? But that's if we're dealing with it with other numbers or whatnot. If we're going to do long division, you draw this guy, okay? And what you usually end up doing, or what I usually end up doing is, I move the decimal place over so it doesn't exist, right? So I put the six here, and I'm gonna move the decimal place over four times. Once, twice, three, four. So I don't wanna deal with decimals in the core number here, right? So we moved over one, two, three, four. That means we really multiplied it by 10,000 so we're gonna add four zeros to this because the decimal place is here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, or sorry, thousand, right? A thousand, 10,000, <laughs> right? So we moved our decimal place. Boop. Now you gotta ask yourself, what do you multiply 60,000 by? This is 300,000, so we can do it into this. What do you multiply six, 60,000 by to give you 37,790, right? It's not even. So basically, 6 into 37. How many 6s are there in 37? Six of them, right? 6 times 6 is 36. Okay. So you're going to put the 6... One two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to put it up here. Okay. And then the six multiplies this, which is 36,000. And you subtract this from this. Okay. So if you subtract this from this, zero from zero, zero, nine, seven, one. We've got 1,790 left. Now, 60,000 doesn't go into that. So what you can do is bring the 5 down, Whoop. right? What do you multiply? Uh, did we move it over? It was 37. Did I mess it up somewhere? Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking I messed it up somewhere, but I don't think I did, right? And then you ask yourself, what do you multiply 
uh, this to give you this. Wait a second, what was the original number? 37, right? 37, 6. There should be a decimal coming up, right? Hold on a second. 2, 2, right? So we're going to go, hold on, this was 37.7905. We went one, two, three, one, two, three, four, right? Yep, yeah, we did four. That's right. So we're going to do two here, right? which is really wacko because it should be. There should be a decimal right here, right? It should be 6.2. Oh, because I missed a zero. Check this out. Look at this don't make this mistake did you catch it did you guys catch it how many zeros do we have here one two three four i only put three here bad 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 there should be a zero there right so this guy is really on top of this okay bad mistake the reason i knew it was a mistake that <laughs> nice <laughs> i know you found it the reason i knew it was a mistake because the original number was 37.7905 and if we're going to divide it by six six goes into 37 six times so the next number has to be a decimal right it should be in the decimal part of it okay that's what happens when you look away from the page when you're doing mathematics actually your question by the way lonely piggy if i have any advice when you're doing a problem, don't look away too much. Because when you look away, you might forget to put down a zero. You might forget a decimal place, right? So whenever you're doing mathematics, it's really important to f keep focused on the problem. Do the problem. Once you're finished with the problem, then relax your shoulders and look up and then attack the next problem, right? When you're doing a problem, don't push yourself to a level where you've been really tight for like six or seven problems and you're getting fidgety and you have to look away during a problem and then in the middle of it and come back to it right unfortunately for me when i'm doing this because i'm looking this way and looking this way sometimes i forget stuff right so there should be a zero here there should be a, a five here as well right okay now you look at this thing noted but no promises because this is stressing me out quite a bit plus the exam is time so there's also that uh the thought of taking too long on a problem uh and whatnot okay yeah i personally don't like the time stuff but i can see why they're timing it if you're you know your job requires uh there's a time factor to being a police officer evening chicho make me make me old so basically what we do now is we ask ourselves how many times does 60,000 go into 17,000? It doesn't, right? Once you reach this level where this number doesn't go into this, what you end up doing is you put a decimal place here. And I usually put a decimal here too. Because what that means, as soon as you add the decimal, you can start adding zeros and bring down zeros. I was a mix. MCK Silva change my name uh, okay nice. hopefully it was a good reason you changed it right so as soon as you add a decimal you can add a zero here and bring a zero down right now you ask yourself how many times the sixty thousand going to hundred and seventy nine thousand if this was hundred and eighty thousand it'd be three times we're, we're done right but it goes in there twice as anuch said right so we put a two up here Two multiplies that that becomes zero 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 twelve right so zero 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 twelve and you subtract these guys zero five zero nine five right look at this so close but no cigar right sixty thousand fifty nine thousand and fifty so this doesn't go into this so we can add another zero and bring this guy down you ask yourself how many times does this go into that if it was 60 60 000 originally it would have been one which is 10 so we know it's going to be a nine nine times six is 54 right so you put a nine here 
So it becomes 0, 0, 0, 0, 54, 0, 0, 0, 0, 54, 0, 0, 5, 0, 5. Okay. Have you ever eaten jug? Judfish? I don't think so. How many times does... And you don't care about these numbers here. You care about this guy. You ask yourself, basically, how many times does 6 go into... Well, it can't be f into 50,000, right? 60,000, it doesn't. So you grab another 0 from here. Add a 0. Now, take a look at this. This is 4 digits. This is 4 digits. So you can sort of avoid those. We don't care. So you ask yourself, how many times does 6 go into 50? Okay, and that's 8 times. Mathematics stream. The most beautiful universal language. Love this. Awesome. So you're going to put an 8 here. So you're going to go 0, 0, 0, 0, because 8 times 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? 0, 0, 0, 0. 8 times 6 is 48. 8. So this is 0, 0, 0, 6. You can't take 6 away from 5. So you got to come to this guy. You can't borrow anything from this, so you borrow from this. This becomes a 4. Okay. This becomes a 10. Now you can borrow one from this. That becomes a 9, and that becomes 15. 6 from 15 is 9. 8 from 9 is 1. Right? Now, right now, we had four decimal places in this one, right? We've got our solution to eight uh, to three decimal places. If you're doing stats, you would only take this down to two decimal or one decimal place, right? Because that would be two sig figs, okay? I'm assuming they'd be satisfied with that answer, but if they want more, you just add another zero, bring it down, and then you ask yourself how many times there's the four you can knock off. There's a four you can knock off. So you ask yourself, how many times is six going to nine? And, oh, uh, sorry, 19 is three times. So you put a three here, all right? So the average of these guys, average, would be 6.2983. Okay. Sorry about the mistake earlier, but it does, you know, emphasize stay focused on the question stay focused on the question i think you can do this problem another way uh, first divide that by six and then divide the answer yeah yeah you could do that as well i think three <laughs> nice. right you could go six into 37 six so just start off forget about the zeros and just your work your way down here and then divide the original by as Anuj says by that's a big number though I don't think you divide it by that many you divide it by uh, 10,000 not a uh, 10 million <laughs> right the exam is entirely multiple choice which I guess is is a bit better it could be a bit better it depends on the multiple choice I'm a pretty uh, visual guy myself so I like to write down what I'm working was uh was so this uh definitely has cool and by the way lonely piggy just because the exam is multiple choice it doesn't mean you're not supposed to do any work they should have a scrap piece of paper besides your lots of space between questions where you can do your work uh yeah it was 30 i forget what it was it was 37.7905 yeah Yeah, that's what it was. So you don't divide it by, what is that? That's 100 million, right? That'd be too big. Um, yeah, and by the way, Lonely Piggy, with multiple choice exams, here's one trick, okay? Go through it, right? Any questions you don't know, just circle them. Like for example, if you know these are the questions, one, Actually, I won't circle it because you want to circle it to know, right? So you got question one, two, three, four, five, etc. Right? Let's say you're doing this. You know, you got question one, you got question two, question three, you're not 100% sure on. Move on. 
just circle it so on the scan back you know uh, which ones you haven't answered yet right and it might be a scantron if it's a scantron be really careful transferring your answers to the scantron right don't transfer your answers if you've got any gaps in there yet right so let's assume you didn't know what the answer was question three you did question four you didn't know what the answer was for question five let's say you continue to do this and there's like 50 questions right let's say in the 50 questions you have five questions that you didn't know the answer for uh, I moved the decimal I, I what I did was move the decimal place so if it was here I moved it there because I don't like dealing with the decimal place in the division itself uh, does that make sense right so you're right you could you, we could have just not dealt with the div uh, decimal place put 10,000 on the side that's four decimal places and then whatever we got as the answer which would have been here it would have been six two nine eight three and then divided that answer by 10,000 would have put us there right so just to go back here to answer and doing multiple choice you do all 50 questions you have five questions you don't know the answer for you go back to them you don't you still don't know the answer for if you're gonna guess on them guess the letter that appears the most in all the other ones you answered so in all the other questions you've answered which is there's 45 questions that you've answered right if B is the one that appears the most answer the 5 B okay I plan on doing just that actually uh, just need to work smoothly enough to have time to come back to a question I could not complete right away uh, right in, in I could not complete right away because once the timer ends the exam blocks oh it's on the computer it's on the computer but what about zeros of well it wasn't 60,000 this was we were dividing let's do this we were dividing uh, 37.7905 by 6 right on a computer harder on a computer harder on a computer so if you're doing that what you could do is go 6 and then 377905 do this division and then whatever you got here divided by 10,000 which basically means move the decimal place over four places this way right and if we did this division it would have been the same thing it would have been 6 2 9 8 3 and then divide by 10,000 which means take the decimal place and go 1 2 3 4 6.298 put up put up put up <laughs> right fun the, sometimes these simple things are the are the ones where people make the most mistakes right like i i made a mistake i forgot a zero disaster really right if you didn't know what was going on if you didn't have an idea of what the numbers are supposed to be And then do you guys have graphs as well, Lonely Piggy? Are you guys going to be graphing things and stuff? Or trigonometry, they might have some Sokotoa stuff. I think my board needs a new wash. I passed a multiple choice mathematics exam by 2%. I had three questions I didn't know, so I wrote down the choices. So, uh, scrappled, scrappled up a bit of paper, closed my eyes and dropped it. <laughs> Whichever it landed closer to, I picked. I still often wonder whether that actually helped, but I like to think it did. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't think so. The math goes up to high school three, essentially from what, uh, what I said, what is said. So I wonder, uh, so you wouldn't have any graphs. High school three would be, is that like grade 10 mathematics? That's as high as they're gonna go. 
If it's grade 10, you might have graphs. But you should have some kind of uh, sample test that they're going to give you, yeah? I hope so. Is this third grade now? No, I don't think so. I think uh, maybe it's third year in high school. High school three. Uh, it used to drive me insane seeing people finish early and close their papers. I just want to scream at them to use their time uh, to double check. Possibly. Sometimes, like at university and stuff, and even high school, uh, what happens is you might have multiple tests in a day, right? So if you have multiple tests in a day, you might want to, if you finished, if you're confident enough with it, you might want to leave early and go prep for your next test, right? Uh, but yeah, I agree. If you have the time, check your answers. It's, it's worthwhile. It's worthwhile. Some people are just quick. Yeah, yeah. If you know your material, you could do it fast, really. Uh, but if it's really important exam, uh, you know, take your time. Take your time. It doesn't hurt. Just consider it to be more practice. Third year in high school. Yeah. So that would be grade 10 mathematics. And you will have some kind of graphs as well. Uh, check your exam. Sorry. Being in Quebec, our high school levels go by different names in French. Oh, wow. Okay. I learned this when was in third grade in India, which means I was nine at that time. Um, yeah, in uh, this stuff is uh, long division is in Canada. They teach it in grade seven, grade six, I think. Most kids, when they come into high school, they don't know how to do long division. I have to teach it to them. Even kids in grade 11 and 12 and 10, uh, most most kids that I work with most students that I've had in high school most of them don't know how to do long division they've forgotten it because they use the calculator yeah well these were a levels in the UK uh, so you can't leave until the hour has finished uh, so I always saw it useful uh, to use as much time as possible yeah the math in the test will go up to third year high school uh, high school level essentially okay grade seven division i think so i think we do i forget when they teach it i think it's grade six is long division maybe grade five i don't know i don't think it's grade five i think it's either grade six or grade seven i wish i was in canada <laughs> dude um for what reason anuj you guys have no idea what we had in 10th grade integration in differential mathematics yeah and which uh, in in iran as well like you could do they some some schools were introduced calculus in grade eight it's like grade eight you're doing calculus and this is like four decades ago i have the practice exam in front of me right now most of the math related questions i've had trouble with because of a serious lack of practice after high school been out of that uh, place for five years now so it feels like ages ago and i've forgotten a lot of the basics yeah and uh, lonely piggy welcome to uh, mathematics tang bo thank you for the bits <laughs> thank you for the bits you're just sitting there quietly watching everything yeah? <laughs> less pressure on students in canada good thing uh anuj um I wouldn't say less pressure different type of pressure different type of pressure uh, academically there's less material covered there's no doubt about it high school here is horrendous it really is it elementary school is just pure in general pure garbage and high school is is in general pure garbage right what they're teaching you is so dumbed down it's ridiculous right so on an academic front it's easier compared to other parts of the world some other parts of the world right however the societal social pressures on people here are extremely heavy extremely heavy really people don't appreciate how much 
pressure kids are in I, I can't speak for Europe but I can speak for Canada and United States it's unbelievable it breaks a lot of people okay and the people that break it it has nothing to do with how well they're doing how well they understand the content or not I've seen kids that have very poor academic background really struggle socially and just the whole bureaucracy and the centralization of education system and i've seen kids that are they could they do better than me in the exams or they would because they're way more focused sometimes and i've seen the school system break them as well right so it's a different beast it's a different game uh, both require uh, a certain amount of resilience uh, common core math is bad voyager i have yet in canada united states see a centralized education program being passed down through the centralized education system which has improved the education overall every decade is getting worse and worse every five years is getting worse and worse wow i had no idea about that yeah anuj it's the social pressures here are unbelievable for kids I tell most of my students you you can pay me enough to go back into the school system no thank you I, I'm not into that right I can speak for Europe pretty much the same is it olive okay yeah the pressures in the Western world on kids is wow and it's the reasons for us are multifaceted right there, there's multiple reasons for it like uh, Anush, just just imagine this, right? You've been going to education, you've been going to a centralized education from grade one all the way to grade twelve, and you graduate high school with barely being able to read and write, and barely being able to do mathematics. Just imagine how lost you will be. Just imagine how much pressure you're under, right? Because there's a whole stigma attached here about you must, I'm pretty sure it's most places in the world, but you must succeed, you must make money, uh, you must be able to buy these expensive things and all this jazz. But they've gone to 12 years of school in, in, in the, under the assumption that when they finish high school, they're gonna be ready for life. And they're not and the weight of the world just comes crashing down on them the serious problems Norway yeah if you want to learn math you have to understand the basics first that's why a lot of people struggle Voyager agreed 100% and that's the reason that I say are at the elementary school education grade 1 to 7 in Canada specifically and the United States is just pure garbage pure garbage i have i work with students as i've gone as young as elementary school i've had elementary school students that i work with right we cover their material within a couple of weeks like we're done and i start teaching them high school and try to get them ready for high school and beyond right i have students that i start working with at the beginning of high school and a lot of them don't even know how to add negative numbers really it's unbelievable they have no idea how to deal with fractions most of them that's they're starting off way behind that's a serious struggle right and they're they think they're they're stupid they're dumb and first order of business for me just to let you know first order of business for me when i work with students is to explain to them that mathematics is not hard and they are not stupid okay those are the ones that are trying to improve their marks they're not stupid I try to build up their self-confidence and then they they open up a little bit and once they realize that they have the ability to do mathematics they learn much faster right really my first the certain amount of uh social work <laughs> that's involved with teaching huge 
it was rough here in England I was luckily uh, luckily in the final year where high high level mathematics got an upgrade essentially making it harder for instance I got my uh, grade by I got my grade by 2% whereas if I was in the year below after the change I would have missed my mark by 15% the pressure was enough I can only imagine what it's like now for them yeah uh, one thing by the way uh, the here's the thing Mike or Mick uh, the reason uh, the centralized education system is so flawed it doesn't work is because when they change a program they say okay for grade 10 we're introducing these things right the problem is the previous year the they didn't prepare them for what's being introduced so these kids come into this year or grade 8 or grade 9 or whatever the grade is not being prepared not having the prerequisites to learn this material and they fall apart right it's very weird there's a question still keeping uh, in mind that this is all multiple choice okay let's do one uh, lonely piggy where we are asked for the percentage between numbers cool example from this practice exam we're given a board uh, board with years and numbers of money uh, plus kids are diagnosed with ACD yeah it's pharmaceuticals play, play a huge part in education which is insane um, so let's check this out we're given a board with years and numbers of dollars gathered in that year say 1999 is uh, 7500 so I'm just going to transfer these numbers over so 1999 uh, $7,500 right this is dollars this is years uh, here let's do this right. we'll do it we'll do it officially math way I guess here let's erase this this is let's create a table yeah. This is your X, this is your Y, and this is dollars. Okay. And oh, is this not a table format? Oh, it's not a table format. And twenty-two thousand five hundred dollars. The question asks us. I thought you were going to give me a list of tables, so it was going to be two thousand is eight thousand five hundred. Okay, that's not the one. So we're going to do what you wrote down. I shouldn't jump ahead. So 1999 was 7,500. And this is one thing you should do, by the way, you should, here, don't do as I do, do as I say, right? Whenever you're reading a math problem, read the whole problem first. And then when you're transferring the data over to the piece of paper, let's get this focused. When you're transferring the data over to the piece of paper, and then on the second read, transfer the stuff over. Again, you're on a time crunch, so you know, see how it works. Um, say 1999 and $7,500 Canadian and $22,500 USD the question asks us to find what percentage given is right for the Canadian dollar gathered that year between I don't understand the question I know for a fact that it's pretty simple but man I'm rusty so how come they're different currencies number of dollars gathered in that year say 1999 seven thousand five hundred dollars canadian and oh so that's how much you made i guess okay the question asks us to find what percentage given is right for the canadian dollars gathered that year so you got to do a conversion from canadian um ink blood it's not because that's canadian dollars that's us dollars so what they're doing is doing this tricky questions right so 1999 I'm assuming this is the question so you got seven thousand five hundred dollars uh, Canadian that's the Canadian symbol CND 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 and twenty two thousand five hundred dollars USD right and they want to find out what percent is this out of twenty two thousand five hundred read every question in full twice before you start don't they <laughs> that's good advice he's on a time crunch though so at least once read it once transfer over the data and read it or read it once and then on the second read transfer of data and read it again question is not complete i think 
uh, yeah, I don't understand that question. I think this is the question that's being asked. It's asking you how much is $7,500 out of the total amount of money you collected? I'm pretty sure that's the type of question it's asking. Uh, keeping in mind from the exam that both currencies are worth oh they're both worth the same pooper scooper right if they're both worth the same then it's easy i thought what you had to do was this convert this to us dollars us dollars right so right now and let's say the question was this right now the exchange rate is us dollars uh, 0 0.75 us dollars equals one dollar canadian c and d right so what you would do is multiply this by 0.75 and that would give you how much this is worth in us dollars and then you would add that to this and then take this and subtract it from the total or sorry divided by the total okay read the question twice before you start my teacher kept telling me this i kept not doing it <laughs> Da, da, da. yeah why would they give you two different currencies then say they're the same yeah that's that's the thing like the question like really for those of you that aren't in canada i i really can't explain to you how horrendous the math education is here right the way they word the problems is ridiculous it's more of an english test than a mathematics test because they throw in words to throw you off, right? It's a trick. Okay, damn. They're just trying to mess with your head at that point. Uh -huh. One trick for mathematics is practice every day. Yeah, for sure. From the total between both currencies, which percentage from the ones I've listed is correct for the Canadian amount accumulated for that year? So that plus that, I guess. What's the exact wording of the question? I love trick questions. I don't like trick questions. So let's assume the question was this. It depends how they word it, right? But this would be the legitimate way. So we're gonna take off Canadian and US. We're gonna assume they're both the same currency, right? So you wanna find out how much this, what percent of your total income, if you collected this and this, what percent of your total income was this, right? It could be, you know, job one job two your first job and your second job so what you would do you would add these two guys zero 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 put the one up eight ten zero one and thirty so you collected thirty thousand dollars total that year and you want to find out what seven thousand five hundred was from thirty thousand then you go seven thousand five hundred divided by thirty thousand okay and if you want to do the long division for this let's do the long division for this because we didn't have in any maybe that's why we loved it oh you guys don't get any trick questions correct percent is between the multiple choices listed so this is what you would do so we want to do this long division so let's do this long division Now, if you notice, this is 7500 divided by 30,000. Now, 30,000 doesn't go into this, right? You can create trick question, questions uh, uh, through mathematics itself. Problem solving as such. Yeah, agreed, Mick, right? But when they word it to fumble you, it's kind of shitty because then you're having to incorporate english and mathematics crazy it 100 and some of the wording is wrong <laughs> like it's really it's wrong <laughs> right i always have trouble doing the bigger divisions uh give me a proof that one plus one is two how many fingers am i holding up is that proof it's an example it's not proof right so how do you divide thirty thousand into seven thousand five hundred it doesn't so you go okay this goes into this zero times if you want to th think about it that way right so zero times this is zero right and you got seven thousand five hundred now you don't have to do this step 
I'm just showing you what the process is, right? Now what you got to do is, you got the same thing, so it's not zero again, but what you can do is add your decimal place, right? As soon as you add your decimal place, you can add a zero here and bring a zero down. Now you ask yourself, how many times does 30,000 go into 75,000? And it goes twice. So you put a two here, so that goes 60,000, right? Subtract this, zero, 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 five, one. How many times does 30,000 go into 15,000? It doesn't, so you borrow zero. Because you're after a decimal place, you can borrow one zero at a time, right? How many times does 30,000 go into 150,000? Five times. So this becomes zero, 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 15. Subtract, you get zero. So the answer is 25%, right? Because 0 0.25 is equal to, bring it over two decimal places, 25%. So 25% of your income was from job A. Okay. If you have one apple and get one more apple, you have two now. Unless you eat one. <laughs> awesome. Holder. But the fingers aren't identical. You didn't say identical. No one said identical. Right? Is is are the ones identical? Maybe it's one red apple plus one brown apple, or no, you don't want black, brown apple, green apple, right? Yeah, it's math, not creative writing. Yeah, point 0.25. Don't eat apples. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> don't eat apples. Eat oranges. Eat oranges. Eat oranges. Do you guys have munchies? When you're doing math homework, eat munchies. It's good for you right you need sugar you need protein to be able to function properly the mind needs it I want creative math Amazon sucks Amazon does suck if you have the Apple by hide it then it is both <laughs> it's in both states it exists and it doesn't exist it's got Snordinger's Schnor Schnor apple I can't even, I never I was never able to pronounce his name correctly don't eat the brown apples yeah you'll get sick and you know what I don't know if you'll get sick but you might because when they're browning they're basically a fermenting so they're becoming alcoholic a little bit there's video I remember watching when I was a kid it was, uh, I used to watch a lot of animal documentaries, love animal documentaries, right? Plant and animal documentaries. And there was a video, I saw a documentary where a herd of elephants was eating, I forget what type of fruit it was, that had fermented, that had fallen on the ground. And they were eating it and they ate so much, they got drunk and they were getting tipsy and falling over. It was super funny. Awesome, thanks. That definitely helps me seeing the entire... Um, entire process I'm not too worried about the numbers but being on a timer and uh, preferring writing things down as I work might make things uh, more intense yeah take uh, lonely piggy here's the kicker take your time if you know let's say you only finish 75% of the exam right but if you if you know you got that 75% right who cares about the 25% if you needed 70 to get into the program, right? Do it right the first way, uh, first uh, first time you do it, through the first wave, right? All the, is that a uh, Woodstock Brown asset reference? Is it? I have been behind in math all my life. Uh, eraser 1x all my life last school year we had our finals in math till that time in my life i was passing math class barely every year i was so close to failing failing it that my teacher had to pull the grade up so i could finish the year and not be expelled or held oh last year before finals i went to a private teacher and studied with her for two months three to four times a week when the finals came, I got 12%, which, oh no, which funny enough is exactly what you need 
in the past 12 percent you need 12 percent to pass that's it my biggest problem was no matter how much i'd learned i could not remember formulas or anything of that matter for more than a week after a week it's all gone for me but on the other hand i could remember uh scripts i guess for movies i'm an actor or i can easily remember anything about tech or text um, text wise that's cool uh eraser here's the one thing about mathematics in mathematics you're not memorizing formulas that's like physics and chemistry and biology and when you're applying mathematics to a certain discipline and i personally i'm not i'm not a fan of memorizing formulas like i some of the formulas i don't even know right as far as i'm concerned the formula should always be given to you okay when you're learning mathematics what you need to do is understand the process understand the language like you don't memorize how to put a sentence together because mathematics is just a language right so you don't memorize that whenever you're ending a sentence you put a period at the end of the sentence maybe at the beginning when you were learning how to read and write you you have to keep that in memory but when you do it enough you just know you've ended a point end the sentence if you're breaking things up you use commas if you're quoting someone you use quotation marks so mathematics what you have to think about it is it's just the syntax of a language it's it's just a language we've come up with where logic sort of the rules the axioms we've come up with to try to understand the world such as one plus one equals two they work and then you just build it from there but that being said some people are more wired towards the mathematics side some people are more wired towards the natural languages side right appreciate what your strengths are try to increase what you're weak as weak in as well right no don't know about that i finished my chemistry extraction with uh miss mimosa hostel hostels earlier today in my kitchen i don't know what that is tested a new method using lie and boy i'm glad i had the correct equipment for protection came to the conclusion using lie lie is way more effective but significantly increased the danger i don't know what that stuff is you don't remember formulas yeah as voyager says you don't need to memorize formulas in mathematics you just have to know the process the syntax of the language uh, okay there was an incident at woodstock where someone grabbed the mic and told people not to take the brown acid because people were having bad trips. oh really okay i didn't know that there's an amazing uh, woodstock documentary out there for like it's like a four hour documentary or something it's really good at least we're not getting uh, points off or wrong answers per se oh yeah some multiple choice are like that just need to meet the required 3.2 out of 5 which is 64 percent uh, for the entire exam uh, grammar vocabulary syntax and mathematics counts for 60 percent of the exam while another part is mostly psychological questions which counts for 40 percent wow i'm not worried about the psychological questions personally because i'm an honest guy cool that's good my math teacher until seventh uh, class was a type of teacher who went to my mother's work and told her that i was skipped school for three weeks you shouldn't skip school for three weeks uh booker uh that's a long time and then it turned out that she messed up me and my classmate oh no and we had four boys in class and she taught us <laughs> she and she taught us six years so i didn't have the best teacher to build my base oh no that's not good oh brown acid doesn't sound appealing i must say yeah and yes in latvia you need only 12 percent to pass finals and no you're kidding 12 percent? how's that possible year you needed five percent to pass it's crazy i know what college oh finals in college last year you only need five percent to pass what a hundred i wish i lived there no voyager you don't wish to live some place where uh they're dumbing people down and i don't know if that's the case maybe the questions are extremely hard right so if you can get 12 percent, you're a genius 
right but I, I don't wish to live somewhere where life is extremely easy you don't grow thick skin you don't appreciate the importance of life and friends and uh, working hard and like just imagine living somewhere where everything's given to you uh, it's not a good life it's not a good good experience I rather eat apples I ate one today <laughs> my last one oh your last one all I know about lie is it's uh, used in soap and it burns thank thanks to Fight Club movie for that ah it's Fight Club I don't remember the lie part but Fight Club I've seen a few times Mimosa host Hostels is the root bark from a Drima Preta plant used to extract N N dimethyltryptamine. Oh wow, the psychedelic DMT. Done it four times now. Oh, Mick uh, failed the first time, but now I'm getting uh, better. Where uh, I can experiment with different methods. Pretty interesting. I'm making videos on it. Okay, Mick, that is. Be careful. Uh, well then that must be graded on a very heavy curve yeah must be graded on a very heavy curve 12 percent. the curve must be whoop, or how would it be it'd be doof, right maybe this added with homework and other credits maybe a five percent to make the grade positive if everything else is perfect but it sounds insane yeah and it could be maybe the final is only worth 12 percent of the final mark you know homework was worth 20 percent each test was worth 10 percent midterm was worth you know 15 percent the finals worth 12 maybe i don't know by the way chicho that metal movie is either norwegian nor swedish is finnish is it finnish imdb said it was norwegian but it's about a finnish band going to norway so it's okay ah is that what it was finish <laughs> did you watch the whole thing it has subtitles and stuff right i i thought it was one of the funniest movies i've ever seen laugh out loud like busting a gut laughing i would laugh so hard i couldn't read my eyes were watery <laughs> i think it was some of the parts and it was so funny Finn, Swede, Norwegians. What's the difference? Oh, Amazon. Amazon. You got those are fighting words as far as Olive is concerned. I I Scandinavian. It's like saying, is there a difference between Canadian and American? Yeah. Is there a difference between Southern Europeans? Yes. Is there a difference between the African countries? 100 percent right? A problem a lot of people have is they don't see use of math but you use it everywhere and that is about problem solving 100 percent voyager and that is the key mathematics is the language we use to problem solve to quantify the world where we can understand systems better and solve problems problem solving on more than a rudimentary level requires mathematics like without a doubt without a doubt like just simplest problem just imagine if you're making a car or some kind of wheeled vehicle where you need more than one wheel right problem solving you need to make both wheels or four wheels or three wheels the same size how are you gonna do that trial and error that's not gonna work you need to do measurements well thanks for the help Chicho took down some notes and we'll do more practice before the exam day comes wish me luck good luck lonely piggy good luck i hope it goes well okay and definitely if you got more problems and stuff we can deal with it but if it's basic mathematics division long division is one of the hardest ones right uh you probably might have adding and subtracting fractions multiplying fractions as well right so if you do let me know i'll show you a trick for multiplying fractions to make your life easier yeah i got some funny looks uh buying it i must admit i must have looked a bit suspicious cashier seeing a basket full of groceries and then a tub of lye hmm. <laughs> amazon sucks watch it i think it's uh fighting words with most scandinavians which is why i love saying it ah oh, you know this amazon sucks you know it we are vikings you know 
uh, there's just one test 10 pages two parts three hours are given with uh, everything that you have learned up until that point in your life basically after you have learned for 12 years everything is put in a single math test mm. you know what if you're in finishing doing math 12 finishing in math 12 you better know everything all the math before that almost all the math before that there's some mathematics that you might not require you might not need you it might not interest you so let's say 10 percent. you might say okay i'm not interested in going down this branch of mathematics so i don't care about those problems but here's the kicker with mathematics mathematics is bills from previous years right it's not like history or geography or a lot of the other disciplines a lot of the other classes you take in school math should be the easiest course you take in school in high school okay because it just builds adds a little more from previous years so if you're doing if you understood everything well in the grade eight just put a little bit of effort in grade nine grade 10 just a little bit more just a little bit more right a phrase or formula has the same meaning regardless of another language that accompanies it in this way math helps people learn and communicate even if other communication barriers exist which is why it's uh, theorized if we ever manage correct uh, contact from other space is possibly we use that as a way of communication 100% Nick. like the whole what Mick is talking about and this is one of the reoccurring themes in science fiction right that the only way that we'll ever communicate or have our first communication with any other entities out there in this universe is through mathematics because mathematics is the core language of the universe that we've been able to decipher so far and it is within the earth within our just little pale blue dot that we live on it's the most used language between humans and humans humans and machines and machines and machines it is the most used language in the world are you going to teach about differential equations anytime uh you super zent you zent you super zent usurpers yet I don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> one of those was correct. Uh, calculus I'm not gonna get into yet okay uh, I would have to review a lot of my material that I've learned in the past that I've forgotten because I haven't because I've been focusing on teaching high school math I haven't done calculus for 25 years right so I would have to review all the calculus and stuff like that at some point we will get into it I'll create a series on calculus um, through language of mathematics or some more math and definitely do pronounced right then <laughs> okay cool uh through uh and definitely do live streams of calculus but i'm a few years away from that i have to do a fair bit of other math content before we can get into it okay i just know to notice the hand of chaos in the bottom right yeah this is brilliant this whole series have you read the whole death gate cycle Mick, have you have you read the whole death gate cycle amazing one of my favorite science or fantasy uh novel series i think it uh, phenomenal if you guys have never read it's called the uh, do they have the death gate cycle here here this series uh a death gate novel which is called the death gate cycle there's seven books to it and they are amazing they are amazing right here's another book beautiful i love this series yes phenomenal phenomenal here's another one and these are the hard covers i only have three of the hard covers uh i wish I, we grabbed i wish we had all seven in hardcover uh, we don't and then here's the rest of them here let me show you Chaos, Serpent Mage. This was uh, 
This is volume. Here's volume one. This is the one you want to start with. Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman, genius indeed. And by the way, I have, I had a friend that I haven't talked to for a long time. Um, he was, uh, he was friends with Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman, and he got me. He saw these that I had. I've had these for a long time. He saw that I had these, and he went and got a couple of the books signed, and he got me their signatures on. Uh, on sort of a scrap thing for this stuff so i have signed versions of these two <laughs> calculus was where i decided math wasn't for me calculus you know what uh, i failed the first time i took calculus i failed it um, and then i did okay i took it again and delved into it and all of a sudden it clicked it's just introduction of rate of change it's an introduction of time into mathematics calculus is fun if you know all previous algebra uh, geometry yeah I love calculations but I don't calculate uh, as everyone like everyone yeah everybody do does it different I think calculus gets easier and more understandable when you uh, connect it to physics though uh, yeah I, th I agree with that as well uh, that's the first level of it anyway right that's the first level of it uh, after that I'm pretty sure calculus goes a lot deeper into different disciplines um, I didn't go there with it uh, I thought all math was calculus no as if they were synonyms so math is an umbrella term what are the other kinds of math uh, topology which is surfaces study of surface I believe so anyway uh, there is uh, uh, statistics is a huge branch of mathematics there's number theory there is uh, permutations and combinations which is statistics the sort of branch but it could go down a totally different rabbit hole there's an amazing uh, documentary called n is the number which is basically uh, I think that's what it's called uh, there's different levels of mathematics different branches of math I want to do terrible things to my mobile operator provider I have had the packages of unlimited data package in Nordic countries outside Estonia for two years without ever visiting Nordic countries and using it now I'm in Stockholm and they cut off my internet saying that I am outside of Nordic countries and used up my data limit in general EU countries oh man and this hotel has terrible Wi-Fi oh no yeah the ISPs man I wish we could control I wish it wasn't so monopolized what should we expect going into the death gate series uh, the contra a wonderment amazing it's I like I don't want to give it away right the first book okay this is the first book volume one it's anything I say will give it away it's fantasy okay there's magic there's lots of magic It's very magic centric okay uh, but it's got a lot of lore in it there's dragons in it obviously um, and there's different realms of existence or realms let's say and the whole story is uh, what this world is about and how it came to be highly recommended and if you're gonna pick it up and start reading it uh, I wish someone mentioned this to me once and I really understood what they meant uh, one of my best friends uh, one of them, he was a very dear friend he's not around anymore unfortunately he passed away but he turned to me one day and said Chicho I wish I could watch Blade Runner for the first time again right I wish I'm very glad that I have read this series but I wish at some point I'll read all these seven books again I wish I was reading this for the first time again because it's brilliant the characters are amazing I loved it just read the synopsis for death uh, death cycle series is getting added to my reading list awesome Amazon well no I'm just jealous <laughs> Make 
I'm not a huge, by the way, I'm not a huge signature collector or anything. I have Chomsky's signature and um, some other people's signature and stuff like this. Uh, but I'm not a huge signature collector per se. But it was it was a gift to me and I appreciated it very much. I like math because it's very pure, but physics can uh, it can trip up uh, trip up on thinking about the physical world a lot. It's kind of hard. Yeah, I find uh, I find uh, different disciplines in physics difficult, the units and stuff like this. I prefer just straight up mathematics. Even though my background, my degree, my major was physics, geophysics. By the way, Latvia isn't dumbing anyone down. It's just how it always has been. Either way, if you do research on Latvia, you will be surprised what a country with 1.2 million people has given to the world. Awesome. That's really good eraser. Okay. In Canada, they've been dumbing it down in a big, big way. Like huge. Just dumbing it down, dumbing it down. Where they're passing people that they shouldn't be passing. Where people are, are getting into higher levels of high school and they don't know anything. Uh, all of calculus is for me the way I look at it is the introduction of time into mathematics and rate of change how things change your functions change over time you're looking at the trying to understand the functions and zoom into specific points on the function uh, that that to me is what calculus was I could be off right but I agree that uh, the percent for passing finals should be higher yeah margaret wise they wrote dragon lance right i did they i believe so i have dragon lance here too where's my dragon lance or is it terry moore dragon lance no richard uh dragon lance is richard a knack but i think uh, there's a few different authors that wrote dragon lance it's like dune some people took it on right is this is a dragon last series this is dragon last too yeah so margaret wise or weiss right soul forge i haven't read this one right. shouldn't expect much going into sweden that was also I wouldn't even want to tell you uh, ever, anything honestly. You create your own wonders through reading it. Takes you on an, one amazing journey, journey you'll never forget. Yeah, I agree with Mick. It's one of the fantasy novels, one of the novels that I've read. Seven books, really, that the story is still very vivid in my memory. And I read this 20 years ago. Oh, longer than 20 years ago like late 1990s to early 2000s I believe no late in late 1990s I forget when these came out the Contra oh god no I needed to watch Blade Runner like four times oh I love Blade Runner I'll check it out thanks awesome I also hated Blade Runner 2049 until I slept on it a couple of days yeah I liked it 2049 was really good uh, it has been a nice it has been a nice country since I have been here some of my distant roots also come from here but I have uh, I have to leave because the Wi-Fi won't pull through the stream see you around guys see you around Booker thanks for popping in sorry to hear about your uh, internet connection yeah I'm just kidding about Sweden because I'm Norwegian <laughs> Cal 3 made me realize how much the world relies on calculus almost everything is calculus almost everything is calculus I only uh, I guess I went up to Cal 3 I can't remember how what level I went I got my math minor so I took calculus I took systems of differential equations the second tier one was like blew me away wow 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 it was insane right I'm getting my dune soon I think can't wait have no idea what I'm getting into Olive I wish I could read dune for the first time again right fantastic are you a math teacher by trade uh, by trade um, yeah I guess I've been doing it for like 20 years 
I, I do private uh, expired sandwich. I do private. Uh, I don't, you know, I didn't go through the system to get a teaching degree or whatever it is. I went into it by circumstance, life circumstance, and I'm very good at it. Right? Apparently, Tracy Hickman and Margaret Weiss started writing fantasy after playing D&D &D together. That's awesome. That's great, man. I didn't know that. And uh, the friend that I know knew them because he was the one that came up with Magic the Gathering. That was his company, right? He created Magic the Gathering and he knew Tracy Hickman and Margaret Weiss and uh, they were good friends and he he went on to great things and uh, and whatnot dungeons and dragons olive chicho are you ever going to see a phys are, are we ever going to see a physics stream uh possibly i've started tutoring physics a little bit more i used to tutor physics a fair bit i used to actually tutor chemistry as well like 15 years ago uh but for some reason it's just the math that it started coming my way a lot uh, Peter with Peter uh, Contra our our paths crossed is his name is, is it go by is it Richard Garfield I don't know I don't want to throw names he I know him as Peter I don't know if it's him the same person or not he runs the com uh, comic con or gaming con in uh, is it chicago now i don't know where it is now we lost track we lost touch with each other like 20 years ago no 15 years ago you can tackle some probability that's what my exam will concern peter atkinson yeah i shouldn't even be dropping names should i even be dropping names uh, he's a really nice guy man he's a really nice guy yeah really nice guy super nice guy <laughs> yeah super nice guy super nice guy uh, uh stats all of uh what kind of stats uh, stats are you interested in what's your exam on I hope I have lived a fulfill fulfilled life as you when I'm your age. It comes with time, brother. Contra, it comes with time, right? It comes with time. Uh, and you know what? The other part of it is be open, be kind, be giving, right? Really. If people need help, you help them out. If people need um, need to talk, you listen. Um, just treat others the way uh, the way you want to be treated and the, don't treat them the way you do not want to be treated haven't paid attention hold on I'll <laughs> my book I'll find my book find your book Olive first order of studying math is knowing what you're supposed to study Are you interested in computer science uh, that and math have a lot of similarities like functions arrays and what whatnot yeah computer science there's math heavy 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 right p versus no p problems where's my ball <laughs> i was scrolling through some of your old videos a few weeks ago chicho enjoy the deseeding of pomegranates i believe and then i was blown away away releasing realizing you went to sound waves to uh, 07 and 08 the absolute glory they make what and i went to 07 08 09 and 010 i went the last four years wow amazing what oh, that was so sweet found it olive yeah yeah okay olive what you guys doing 
is it a concert it was a music event festival it started on Friday evening and it went on till Monday morning electronic music festival they had three different stages going uh, two of them basically 24 7 one of them really 24 7 the other one's 22 7 <laughs> 22 hours a day or 20 hours a day lots of music going on and in the forest on the waterfront what an amazing experience and my notebook this is my lucky day nice you found your notebook I was listening to it and oh even though the quality isn't great I could picture it so clearly yeah Mick I, I recorded that stuff it was a brand new camera I bought it was a mini DV camera all right and the reason I bought that was because I realized I was gonna start making um, I was making some math videos but the camera I had the <laughs> that I was using it was someone else's and it was an older one so it broke on me so I bought that brand new camera the first for the 2007 and I hopped on the ferry to go to Soundwave right and on the ferry I was reading the instructions of how to do this and I brought a whole bunch of mini DV tapes and I recorded all that stuff on a brand new camera on a mini DV tape and I was surprised the sound quality was considering what I was recording on the sound quality came out really good the picture quality was pretty good too uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, but it was fun it was enjoyable it was so good it was very good on a scale of 1 to 10 how rough were you <laughs> for, for the days after sound wave uh, rough is not the correct word I was uh, um, what is the correct word I was very de-stressed <laughs> it was it was very enjoyable I was very pretty loose pretty relaxed it was pretty relaxed <laughs> I made some really good friends during that festival um, one uh, one people I made really good friends with were uh, thug fucker uh, uh, Thomas and uh, Omar and Greg they're a DJ band from uh, New York one of them was Icelandic and he lives in New York one of them was Italian they live in New York they had a band together I made friends with some of the other DJs as well uh, just kicking it with them and stuff and a lot of just locals and it was it was good were you ever there by the way Mick which years were you there so olive what's in your book what kind of stats are you guys doing i love festivals like that there's no race no religion no gender no judgment just pure wow 100 percent mech and sound wave i haven't found anything as amazing as sound wave yet and i never been to anything as amazing as sound waves before that binomial coefficient does this say you tell you anything translating math terms into easy a binomial yeah so check this out binomial let me know if i'm going too far with this olive i don't know where you are with that no i wasn't but i've been uh, smashing techno festivals and such here in the UK since I turned nice nice Mick I haven't been to a festival in the UK or in Europe just the West Coast and US a little bit uh, so West Coast and whatnot I have to confess that I just bought five gig more of general EU internet for my ISP while writing an angry letter to my ISP by asking them proper compensation for that laptop or I'll take my business phone numbers to other SPs cool hey Chicho I'm a metal bender uh, I wish I improved my profession in math okay not the mainstream festivals though the underground types where it's a certain type of groups that head there wouldn't change it for the yeah either either with me I like the close-knit feel of the underground stuff your money speaks more than your letter but I get the struggle yeah not with Dante too so we, we barely have a choice in Canada right uh, binomial theorem is it the binomial theorem binomial coefficients coefficients are you, are you talking about the binomial theorem 
where the binomial theorem is this. Uh, like, are we talking about all of Pascal's triangle, right? Are we talking about this? One, 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 two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one. Olive, let me know if this is on the books and we have the Pascal's triangle. Okay, cool. Awesome. So here's the thing with the binomial theorem, right? Okay, it's a okay, awesome. Watch this. Okay. Now, let's do an expansion of a binomial. Let's say we have is this coming out okay? Let me try to find one that's darker. I might have to get new pens again. Let's say we have nice. Let's say we have 2x plus y squared. Let's say we want to expand this. Wow, I just posted it when you said it. Nice. Uh, hold on. Need pen. Okay, go get your pen, Olive. I'm gonna I'm gonna read the other comments. Um, yeah, this is a good introduction to um, combinatorics. Yeah, I haven't been on five megabit internet for like 18 years. It felt weird. It's fast or slow. I just I just took for me I tried to live stream initially when we got on Twitch and I found out that I needed the maximum internet that I could get to be able to live stream this stuff. So I, I upgraded my internet to the highest speed they have. Uh, that's what I had to do. Okay. Olive, I hope you're back. Are you back? Let me know as soon as you're back. Okay. We'll do this. Because you need to be here to get the flow of this thing. Got pen, shoot you show. Awesome, all that. Check this out. So you've done binomial expansion. Let's say you have this squared, right? So what you gotta do, squared means this times itself. So you're gonna go 2x plus y times 2x plus y, right? So this guy goes there, this guy goes there, this guy goes there, this guy goes there. 2x times 2x is 4x squared, right? 4x squared. 2x times y is plus 2xy. y times 2x is plus 2xy. y times y is plus y squared. And then you combine your like terms, right? So this guy adds to this guy. So this is 4x squared plus 2x, sorry, 4, 2xy plus 2xy is 4xy plus y squared, right? Easily done, easy peasy, right? Okay, now. What if this was cubed? What if this was cubed, right? If this was cubed, it means three of these things multiply together. So you gotta get this, 2x plus y. And you can't just go this times this, this times this, and then this times this times this time. It's too much, right? So what you have to do is multiply this together. Combine it, right? 2x plus y, and then you got 2x plus y. So those two multiply together to give you this, and then you combine your like terms to get this. And you still have this guy. And then what you gotta do is you gotta multiply this by this, right? So this multiplies this and this, this multiplies this and this, and then this multiplies this and this. I'm not gonna do it, it's gonna be long, right? What happens? It way more work than just two, right? What happens if this was a four? Oh, crazy. You got another one. You got four of these things multiplied together. Two X plus Y. So you're going to do two of these guys, right? You would do this guy. Doop, 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 doop. You would do this guy. Doop, 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 doop. Now they're both the same thing. So what you would end up here is You would end up having this multiply itself, 4x squared plus 4, ba, 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 ba. and then you would go this times this, this times this times this times this, this times this times this, this times this. Oh, no, too much, right? Mind blown, mind blown. What if you had five? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, oh, too much, too much, too much. There's an easy way to do it. It's called Pascal's triangle. It's called a binomial theorem. Oh, isn't that nice? Let's do. Oh, what was it? It was 2x plus y. So let's keep this here. We'll keep this blank, right? Let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. Check this out. Now, 
Pascal's triangle does this. You start off with a one, and then you go one and one. The ends of this thing are all one. It goes like this triangle. To get this guy, you add this plus this. You get two. So one, two, one. And then one, add this and this. You get three. Add this and this. You get three. And then one. And then one, add this and this. You get four. Add this and this. You get six. Add that and that. You get four. And you get one. Right? And so on and so forth. You could build this here. Let's build it one more level. Should we build it one more? Let's build it one more level. 2x plus y. Hey, I'm going to write that thing over here. 2x plus y. And we're going to have a question mark here. You could do it again. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Right? Does it go on further then? Oh, okay. Yeah. You could take it forever. Right? And this is a cheat simple way of doing what we just talked about oh i was getting too much right and then there's another simpler version of this that is about a formula that makes it general that you could use for anything right so math ma mathematicians as, as i've mentioned before like i've dropped this now if anybody's a mathematician here don't don't get angry but mathematicians are the laziest creatures on this planet laziest people there are because they're trying to simplify things as much as they can, right? They try to make it easier and easier and easier and easier, right? Always good to calm oneself with some math after getting angry to your eyes. But yeah, yeah, that formula is complicated. So it's not, it, to a certain degree. We'll, we'll talk about the formula. Let me see what time is it. Ooh, okay, we'll try to get this done. Lazy out of necessity. That's true. So, lazy out of necessity contra very true right they're just trying to simplify things it's long it is long don't worry about don't worry about the formula yet olive watch this guy what these numbers are are the numbers that are in front of this expansion for each term right and the way you can think about it is this this is the power no, that's not the power but if the power is zero the answer is one if the power here this is the power okay if this guy is zero this becomes one because 2x plus one oh sorry plus y to the power of zero is equal to one anything to the power of zero is one right if the power is one you got 2x plus y to the power of 1, then it's going to be 1 times the first term and 1 times the second term. So it's going to be 1 times 2x plus 1 times y, which is the same thing, right? It's just 2x plus y. Okay. If the power is 2, okay, what you're going to have is 2x plus y to the power of 2. It's going to be, um, there's, there's another part to it as well, what is the formula part, right? But it's going to be the numbers, we're going to get three terms out of it, right? As we did before, if you've expanded, you get three terms out of it. So the first term is going to have 1 times whatever goes here, plus 2 times whatever goes here, plus one times whatever goes here okay if the power is three three x plus y if the power is three right there's going to be one two three four terms in it okay and what it's going to be is going to be one times the first term whatever it is i'll tell you what these terms are by the way i lost you did you Okay, just keep this in mind. I'll show this and then we're going to do an example for you to see, okay? Because there's one more layer to this, okay? One times whatever goes in here. We haven't, I haven't covered what goes in here yet, okay? Whatever goes in here, three times whatever goes in here plus three times whatever goes in here plus one whatever goes in there. 
Now let's take a look at what goes in here. Okay. I'm going to erase this. I just wanted to show you what these numbers represent. And I'm going to erase these guys. Oh, that's okay. They come out okay. I'm not going to erase these guys. It's just telling you what's what, right? Actually, let's erase it. That way, there's less things coming at you so it doesn't look as confusing, right? Okay. And then this would be the power of four. How many terms is to the power of four going to have? If it's to the power of four, if this was to the power of four, it would have one, two, three, four, five terms. Okay. Now, what goes in here? What goes in here? This is what goes in here. Let's erase this. Okay. What goes in there is the following. Let's simplify this. Let's call this a plus b to the power of whatever. a plus b is just generic, it's placeholders. You could say square or you could say diamond and triangle, right? It doesn't make a difference. We use letters because it's easier, right? So I'm just going to convert these to letters. But the letter doesn't just have to be A and B, right? A right now is 2x and B is y. A could be 2x squared plus 5, blah, blah, blah. It could be a huge term, right? But for us, we're just going to keep, to keep things simple, we're going to use A and B, okay? And the binomial expansion says this. The power up here, okay, goes with this guy. So if you're expanding it, you're going to go A, the first term. Now, it really depends what power you have, right? So we're going to keep a, I, actually, let's do a specific one instead of a generic one, right? Let's assume this was to the power of, better this way. Let's say this was to the power of 4, okay? So if we're going to expand this, this is what we have. We got a 1 plus a, a 4 plus a 6, plus a 4, and then plus a 1, right? Now we have to figure out what goes in here. Now what goes in here is the following. You take this guy to this power. Okay. That's what goes in there. Times this guy to the power of 0. Okay. The next one is this guy to the power of one less than four to the power of three and this guy to the power of one. Now, what you have to keep in mind is this. The powers up here, they add up to four because they have to total four. This is, you don't even need this term. I'm putting it in just for the mechanics of it. What's anything to the power of zero? It's just one. So you really don't need this. I'm adding this in because I'm gonna try to make the point that these two added up have to equal to four. So four plus zero is four. Three plus one is four. This guy has gonna have an A, this guy's gonna, and there's gonna be a B. It's just to understand better, yeah. I know it throws people off, but once you see the whole picture, you go, oh, that's what it is, right? Whoa, math stream, math stream. Every term needs to have a total power of four, right? So for example, so the, and by the way, the first term starts off with this number and goes down, and this term starts off with zero and goes up, right? So we were at four, three. What's the power gonna be on A and B? Well, this is gonna be, 3 minus 1, which is 2. 1 plus 1, it's 2, right? This guy, A and B. What's A going to be and what's B going to be? Do you do masteries often? Yeah, Atlas Brood. I, I've been doing them probably once every week, once every two weeks. We do about anywhere between two to four a month. Also, do you cover 
uh, anything like calculus. Ah, oh, Atlas Brute, man, so many people ask me for calculus. I'm not covering calculus yet. I'm focusing on specifically high school mathematics. Less calculus. One and three, perfect. One and three. What's this one going to be, the last term, A and B? It's going to be zero and four, right? Zero and four. You're good with that? What's about half like, what's a, what's about stuff like trick? Yeah, trick for sure. By the way, I have a perfect olive. By the way, if you do Chicho trigonometry, I have a playlist on trig, which is a phenomenal playlist here. I'm just going to take a little break from this. I'm, I'm olive. Keep this in mind. Okay. Let me show this person our trig playlist. Oh, actually we can just go at YouTube. Jeepies. Where is that command? YouTube Boop. go to this channel okay and if you go to the playlist there's a trigonometry playlist trick 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 where's our trick full playlist oh no I don't want to like videos but no created playlist trigonometry 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 there we go Here's our trigonometry playlist. Hope you enjoy. Okay. Now, Olive, we should be good up to this point, right? Hopefully we're still streaming. Uh oh, I see my thingamajiggy buffering. Whoa, I actually have seen. Okay, awesome. A few of your videos on in the past. Awesome. Good stuff. Now, Olive, check this out. We were to the power of four, so it's one, four, six, four, one. One, four, six, four, one. And it's A to the power of four, B to the power of zero, and all that jazz. So all you do now is let's assume it was this guy we're taking to the power of four. This is your A, and that is your B. Right? And always remember the sign in front of the number goes with the number. So if this was minus y, it would be negative y goes in for b. So let's let's do one. Let's make it a little bit more complex. Uh, let's stick with that. No, should we make it a minus? My pleasure, Atlas Brute. Let's make it a minus. Let's assume we had 2x minus y to the power of 4. If that's the case, then what you do is you go 1 2x to the power of 4, negative y to the power of 0, plus 4, 2x to the power of 3, negative y to the power of 1, plus 6, 2x to the power of 2, negative y to the power of 2, plus 4, 2x to the power of 1, negative y to the power of 3 plus 1 2x to the power of 0 negative y to the power of 4 okay is that clear I hope that's clear now some teachers some exams they don't want you to waste time to simplify this for us we got time we got time we're gonna simplify this okay so let's see if we can combine like terms see what's going on here right so let me i'm going to erase all this by the way okay so let's do oops do the expansion right that was one one yeah got that so this guy one times two x to the power of four two to the power of four is two times two 4, 8, 16, right? So a 16, x to the power of 4. Negative y to the power of 0 is just 1, so we don't need to put it down. Plus 2x to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, right? Negative y to the power of 1. It's a negative 1 to the power of 1, so it's negative 1. Negative 1 times 8 is negative 8, times 4 is negative 32. So this is not a plus, but minus 32, and it's x to the power of 3, y to the power of 1, 
x to the power of 3, y to the power of 1. And you don't need to the power of 1, but so we can take it out. The next one, 2 squared is 4. Why do you keep the 4? Why do we keep the 4, 4, 4, 4, 4? This guy? Which 4? This guy or that guy? Let's deal with your question first because I, I want you to know, don't have any questions if, when we build this up. 4 times 16. This is 2 to the power of 4. You already multiplied it. Did I multiply it? This term here, that's a 1. That's 16x to the power of 4. Oh, it's not because uh, x to the power of 4 is x to the power. Yeah. No. Can't simplify one. Yeah, though so all of what you're thinking about is here, check this out. Keep this in mind. Okay. Keep this in mind. This is your base number, and you have a power. Okay. The power never directly interacts with the base number. The power does things to the base number. So if you have two to the power of four, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. If you have 2x to the power of 4, that means 2x times 2x times 2x times 2x. 2, 2, 2, 2 is 16. x, 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 x is x to the power of 4. Okay. Is it, does that make sense? Cool, cool. Let's erase this. Now, where were we? We did this guy. Now we've got to do this guy, right? 2x squared. Well, 2 squared is 4, and x squared is just x squared, right? <laughs> so 2 squared is 4. Negative y squared, negative 1 squared is positive 1. So 1 times 4 is 4 times 6 is 24 so it's going to be positive 24 and it's x squared and y squared x squared y squared right let's do this one plus now we don't know if it's a plus it's going to be a minus because that's a minus so i shouldn't even really put a plus sign thanks no all of no apologies about slowing down or taking a pause and explaining something always keep in mind whenever you're in class if you have a question the odds are someone else has the same question. Really, there is never the wrong time to ask a question to clarify something in mathematics. Because mathematics builds on previous concepts, previous things you've done, you need to understand that process because you, before you can build on top of it. If you're missing this little gap, always try to find out what that little gap is, right? Over here, 2x to the power of 1 is just 2x. Negative y to the power of 3 is negative 1 because negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is a negative. So negative 1 y cubed. So this is negative 1 times 2, which is negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8, minus 8. And if it was x and y cubed plus 2x to the power of 0 is just 1. You don't need it. That's a 1, 1. Negative y to the power of 4 is plus. Again, I put the plus in before, but it is a plus now. So don't put it in until you know what it is. I usually end up putting it in. I don't know. It's just a habit. So negative y to the power of 4 is plus y to the power of 4, right? So this guy taken to the power of 4 is this guy, right? And you could put it here, minus 8 x y cubed plus y to the power of 4 right this took less work than it would have if you do the foil method right it takes a lot of effort to do that now this is a lot it is all of it is a lot you need to practice you do this correctly once you're gonna go oh 
you do it correctly twice you know what you do it th correctly three times you're like oh this is easy right just imagine if this was to the power of seven this method would be so much easier than the previous method all you would have to do is expand your pascal's triangle because this guy here this row here is to the power of five right now there's another formula which gets into combitorics which gives you a general formula for the thing but we're not going to get into that right now okay so that negative y will carry to the whole expression negative y carries to the whole expression one of the most important things you got to learn in mathematics the sign in front of the number goes with the number okay this isn't we erased it now this was negative the one we did right this isn't y this is negative y okay by the way gang thank you for the volos thank you for the subs i'm sorry if i'm missing them but when we do the stuff uh, i i look over sometimes i see a name popping up and i can't see it right i did not know that there was a stream like this on twitch <laughs> putin the great putin the great awesome glad to have you here putin the great oh lord seven what about uh, twenty thousand what about twenty thousand there's a formula for it right voyager the formula is uh oh i would have to look it up just to get the correct terminology in right it's c uh n choose r uh, I don't know what what they use I think it's X or we'll call it a to the power of n b to the power of n minus r sum of from n to 1 right I don't know if olives there yet with this formula binomial theorem that's a big triangle that's a big triangle that's when the formula that Chicho was talking about comes in handy that is this guy comes in super handy right oh with the sigma yeah sigma got to love sigma yeah the sum of your formula is correct yay is it correct yeah i think it's correct i think they use n and r and from n to one i believe and what is going to really blow your mind is is this can be uh expanded to three plus terms like yeah 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 and I, I, in high school mathematics we don't do that we don't do the triple terms right i actually don't know what the formula is for the triple terms i can't remember maybe another example for olive yes it is maybe another oh we're running out of time i have a student i gotta skype with we've got two minutes we won't be able to do it for two minutes but all of for sure if you need more of this send a post a little message on our discord page and maybe we'll set up another math stream for the weekend uh to do more of this if you like okay and for sure uh i'll look up the formula or we'll look it up together and make sure we're using the right terms i don't know what they're using in norway what the symbols are but it's all the same really some places change it change it to i's and x's or whatever it is thanks for the help you my pleasure olive my pleasure olive i i hope it helped and the trick to learning math we just went over it is fresh in your head i see it more clear now awesome is fresh in your head the best thing you can do right now is sit down and do at least one of these and do one that doesn't have any fractions in it okay the fractions become a little trickier it's the same process but people get confused with the fractions a little bit like do one that's simple to do something like this or even just x plus y right if you want to add numbers which is sort of better because it gives you a more handle on how large these numbers can get yeah and for in france we don't use c uh much for uh, combinations we do parentheses with n on top and k on the bottom. oh that's a, you guys do it like this uh n and k oops n and k yeah they do that a little bit here as well i prefer this that's 
what I learned on, that's what I've been teaching on a lot. It's 1 a.m. Go to sleep. Have 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 comitoric dreams. So maybe some math in the morning instead. Okay, Ala, math in the morning. <laughs> and you can always look at this video again. I'll have this video up on um, BitChute on YouTube probably in about four days. Okay. I want to get the Julian Assange streams up. Uh, I don't want to break that rhythm and then load up the math ones. We're already getting killed on YouTube. Like people are downvoting the Julian Assange stuff hardcore and YouTube's relegating it, right? So we got to get that out of our system, right? It has to be done. Truth has to be spoken, right? Do you ever get into more proof based math? Uh, some Voyager. I'm not a, as you know, uh, hopefully you know. Um, I I like doing problems. Uh, proofs confuse me a little bit. There's some proofs that I can do for sure. The harder proofs, I'm not very good at. I'm not very good at. It's a lot different from algebra, calculus, whatnot. Yeah, we do this. Then n and k stuff. Okay, cool. Wait, what Julian Assange streams? Did I hear correctly? Yeah, Putin the Great. I've been doing Julian Assange stream. We did Julian Assange yesterday. I did here. Let me give you my Julian Assange WikiLeaks and Julian Assange playlist. Da -da 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 here. Oops. Hey, come on. Here's the full playlist we have on Julian Assange. We did one stream yesterday that I haven't uploaded yet. This is the playlist on YouTube uh, that we're putting on. Yeah, it is confusing, but it's important, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is important. It is. I just was never taught it correctly. And it's just the way that we do assumptions for proofs. It was insane. I did a lot of proofs at university for one geophysics proof we we're doing. It was four pages first year geophysics course I took four pages that they would give you this formula and say prove this so you would have to it was four pages of proofs where you're bringing in other formulas and stuff it was insane it was super cool though wow good for the brain good for the brain they are great streams put in the great you should drop by next one jeez <laughs> okay gang let's call the stream thank you very much for being here by the way i enjoyed it very much this is uh, it's great doing these after the politics assange streams and stuff like that because those are pretty heavy pretty intense um and these are just just pure joy to do really uh just teaching math is for me it's one of one of the great pleasures in life that i have uh and i really appreciate doing this uh, so thank you very much for being here, gang. Thanks for the questions, Olive. Thank you for this. I love this. This is great. I hope it helped. I hope it helped. Uh, everybody else, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Uh, thank you for the comments. Thank you for helping out other people, right? If they needed a quick answer, or if they needed a little direction and stuff like this, right? Uh, and all of you guys that are here for the first time, you're like, we're doing math. We're doing math. Uh, we're going to do this on a regular basis for as long as I'm around anyway. Okay, it did help indeed. Awesome, all that. This stream is great. Definitely will check in from time to time. Awesome, Putin the Great. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for the stream, Chicho. Uh, though I don't understand math the best, it somehow calms me. Awesome, awesome broker. Cool, I enjoy the math stuff. I hate politics. I'm not a fan of politics either, but it's something that I need to need to do uh i don't like bullies and i i if i see people situations where uh the underdog is being being beaten to a pulp with mobs cheering on i need to step in uh it's just the way i was made okay bye everyone and i'll announce the next streams probably in a couple of days uh we might end up doing one uh, over the weekend we'll see i need to catch up with some stuff if we don't do one on the weekend we're going into next week late next week okay if you don't do politics politics happens to you yeah everything is politics even mathematics unfortunately
Thank you, Dante, for taking care of business, brother. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for coming on a regular basis, man. Very much appreciate it. Okay. Bye, everyone. Hope you guys have a fantastic Wednesday. And Thursday for all of and those of you in Europe. Ciao, Chicho. Ciao.